All right, just going to show you Stephen Anderson's methods of cultic control over his congregation, his little cult that he runs out there in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm going to show this first clip of somebody, he's, he's Anderson's preaching against Obama, and you know, don't get me wrong, Obama was a very wicked guy. Obama was obviously of his father, the devil. Obama was, you know, totally just, just out there in terms of wickedness. Uh, but watch as Anderson is preaching against Obama, and somebody objects, and then Anderson just screams at him, get the, you know, H out of my church. He uses profanity. And he says my church too, by the way, which is kind of funny, but watch this. Hey, why do you think this country elected a devil like Barack Obama? Why? Because the news media crammed him down our throat. What do you mean a devil? I'm hey, sorry. you know what? Get the hell out of here if you don't like this kind of preaching. What do you mean because, you know, Barack God. Obama's a devil. Yeah, Barack yeah, Obama's a right. partial birth abortion. If you don't like to hear the truth, then get the hell out of my church because I'm here to tell you something. Oh Barack God. Obama God. is for partial birth abortion. Right. Barack right. Obama right. is a murderer. Barack Obama is wicked as hell. Yeah. And you would not let the door hit you on your way out, buddy, Amen. because Barack Obama is wicked. And the other... Now, if you thought that was bad, uh, get a load of this. And, and it's funny too, notice how in the other clip, Anders is like, oh, my church, get out of my church. Uh, I thought Jesus Christ runs the church. Oh, no, no, sorry, it's, it's the man of God, the pastor that, it's my church, basically. Okay, now watch this next clip. If you thought that was bad, check out this next one where Anderson's preaching and some guy walks up and, and asks for prayer, basically, and Anderson just screams, get out of here, and his, his goons jump up and just grab the guy and, and drag him out there on his, on his feet or whatever. Okay, watch this. Hey, sit down, sit down. What are you, what are you coming up here to do? You want, you want to come take over the service? No, huh? Service. What, what do you want? What? I just want a prayer, Rev. Get out of here. Can I get, can I get a little grace? No, no, no you no, can't. No, no. you, you get right out of here. Get him out of here. Understand? Drag this bozo out. Yeah. Pull him out. Hey, Let help him, him out. Let get him, him out. Let him walk. You can walk in the zone and we'll get him out of here real quick. And you know what? Anybody wants to come up here and take over the service? We'll throw you out of here, buddy. This church is not a free-for-all. This isn't an open mic. This isn't a karaoke bar. Okay? I'm the man of God here. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. And if you don't like it, then get out. Notice too at the end how this, just this rant Anderson goes on. I'm the man of God here. This is my church. I meet the qualifications. I run this church. Um, that's the sign of a Diotrephes right there. You know, you got Diotrephes in Third John chapter uh, one, verse nine through eleven, who wants to have preeminence among the brethren and receiveth them not, referring to the Apostle John there. Yeah, Anderson is a modern day Diotrephes. You know, it just perfectly lines up with Third John chapter one, verse nine through eleven. That's what Anderson is. You're just screaming, "I'm the man of God here," and if you don't agree with me, I'm going to kick you out. I'm going to throw you out, and whatever else. You know. This is the kind of also the problem with having a one-man pastor type system is they get on a power trip like that and just scream, I'm the man of God, don't question me. You know, also taking the man of God as basically a title too, which is a whole other issue of itself. It's not scriptural, by the way, too, but that's another issue. But that's what happens. That's Anderson's cultic methods of mind control right there. Just perfectly in line with the atrophies. You know, total violation of First Peter chapter five, verse one through three, the the conduct expected of an elder or or a bishop or whatever. Yeah, that's Anderson for you. That's Stevie Boy Wonder Anderson, sloppy Steve, out there in Tempe, Arizona. So I wanted to show you guys that. Don't be deceived by Anderson's cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.